fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Sorry guys, this is the, week, the weekly report for the end of the month in June. And I'll tell you a little bit about myself. You know, I've been in the tackle industry for over 30 years, been fishing all my life. So one of the things I do on this report is I talk to a lot of people, um, guides, friends, um, people, that customers that come in the store. And I'm out three or four times a week fishing. So all my reports are current. So when I tell you something, you know, you could bet you could go out and actually catch them. So if you like to port, make sure you hit that like and subscribe, and um, it'll help me out a lot. So let's get on with the report. So the report for this week, I think the hottest thing going on right now, because they just opened up the ocean salmon outside our coastline out of San Francisco to Bodega. The action's been pretty good. A lot of friends and people have been going out, and they've been doing really good. Um, Adrian, kid that works with me, he, they went to uh, Half Moon Bay and they limited out four guys in probably less than an hour and the fish are all between 12 and 22 pounds. And all they're doing is trolling anchovies. They'd wire them up and, and off they go. They troll sometimes, they'll, they'll put them on harnesses. Um, a lot of times they'll use two downriggers and other times they'll use two and a half pound ball. But there's other people who've been out, um, a friend of mine I'm Rachel Blomberg, she was out at Bodega, had a really good trip, that was this last Sunday. Um, John, he was out and they caught fish up to 18 pounds. So the salmon action has been really good and everybody's just trolling tray anchovy bait. So one of the tips you could do about that is get some liquid brine and as you go out that morning, put the brine in a, like a coffee can put the anchovies in that brine, and then as you use them during the day, they'll be hardened up for you. Rock fishing is really good too, but not too many of the guys want to go rock fishing when there's salmon available, but the rock fishing is on fire. So then we're going to come inside the bay. You got held. It's been going on for months, and the action is really good. Uh, most of the party boats are all catching limits, you know, when you have a slow tide. If you have a really fast tide, a minus tide, I would probably go outside the gate and, you know, if the weather permits and fish for salmon. Because on fast tides, the halibut fishing is kind of slow. So you could actually get live bait at the receiver in San Francisco Pier, and you can just drift anywhere around Alcatraz, uh, Angel Island. They're catching Berkeley Flats. A couple weeks ago, I was down there, and we were just trolling tray bait, and we were in South Bay. So the halibut are everywhere down there. So you can go anywhere and catch those. Then I want to move in a little bit more into the bay, into our delta system. What's surprisingly is that the stripers are still brown and they're pretty thick. Um, you're getting this report on Wednesday. I was out Monday and we caught easy limits of fish in that five to seven pound range, but we caught a ton of fish. And watch Monday's video because this is how I caught them. And it's actually a technique that I've been doing for a while, but it's, we're using chatterbait, which is a bass bait, imitating crawfish, and we're fishing in one to three feet of water. And you'll see, watch the video and you'll see. Alan has just got a big one. Dave's got a big one. Hey Dave. Today we've been doubled up, we've been tripled up. Let's see the boys. Woo! Nice fatties. Very nice. So striper fishing is really good down in the Delta still, but I anticipate if we get 100 degree weather in a couple weeks in a row, bye, they're going to be gone. They'll be out in the bay area, and then you could go into the bay and drift the rock piles with anchovies and slaughter them there. So that's coming up real shortly. The bass bite down here has been crazy. A um, friend of mine, son Joe, he caught one over seven on a frog the other day. And I know you saw Michael, they caught one over seven. But a lot of, a lot of bass are on the bite right now. Um, we've been catching them while we were striper fishing with chatterbaits because obviously the bass are feeding in that grass just like the stripers are. But the bass bite down at Delta, top water, Frogs, I'd say if you want to catch a big one, I would try frogs and punching. 
And when you punch, look at my video that I did on brush hog setups, where I pegged it on top and bottom of the weight, like night and day when you're fishing in that um, heavy grass when you're punching. Because your the weight won't move and it won't knock your bait off crooked all the time where you're constantly adjusting. So you're constantly pitching, pitching in the water. So locally around here, <clears throat> I haven't heard too much, but I could bet anything that the shad bite in American River has picked up. And I would go on the upper American, say from Watt Avenue on up. And what's been working best is a little pink or firecracker one inch grub. And that's been hot. So you put it on a 132nd ounce jig head, and then you either put a split shot up about two and a half feet up above it and cast it out or put a bobber. You'll see a lot of guys using bobbers because what they do is they use a water bottle, bobber and they fill it halfway with water so it has the weight and then they could cast it clean across the river and float it down as a natural drift. And they're, they'll probably, shad fishing will probably be good all the way through July. So that's some of the things that are going on hot right now. And then one of the things I'm gonna be doing really shortly here is a lot more kokanee fishing. Kokanee fishing has picked up Bullard's Bar Party or the two lakes where you can catch 10 and it's easy limits there. Um, I did a video not too long ago on kokanee fishing. You need to watch it. And I gave a lot of tips out, especially on short leaders. So kokanee fishing, um, I think the hottest lake right now where I keep going back to is Stampede. The fish are in that probably that 14 to 15 inch range and if you go to Bullers they're in that 10 to 12 inch parties in the 8 to 10 inch so they're a little smaller as you go to those limit 10 lakes. Another lake that I think is going to happen real quick is Berryessa and um, Denise was up there the other day and she actually caught like eight so I figured if she could get eight I could get 28. So that's a lake that's going to be on fire here real quick, so watch out for that lake. Trout fishing is kind of slowing down right now. Um, they're still catching a lot of them at uh, Comanche and uh, Amador Party. They, they release those uh, yellow, yellow trout, I can't remember the name of them, but those yellow ones. They actually planted those, so you can still go catch them, but as soon as we get a couple weeks of this 103 weather, then they're gonna go deep. Eagle Lake, got friends going to Eagle Lake. It's been really, really good. Easy limits, trollers, um, guys that are fly fishing are catching the heck out of them. The trollers are getting them in like 30 feet, and the guys that are using the flies are getting them in 10 feet of water. And that fly fishing, nobody does it, but it's very, very, very good. And Roger, who's a friend of mine that's been going up there, he's been catching some fish in that four pound range, which is probably two to four pounds for that lake. It's very common. So my tackle tip for this week, you could watch my videos, but this is something that I really didn't mention. So when, I'm, when I come out here, I have friends that always ask me, what color of blade do you use on your chatterbait? Well, if you look at my rods, I have two. One will be gold and one will be black. So when I get out there and I see the water, like if it's a outgoing tide and it's a little bit discolored where it's, I can only see down maybe about 10 inches, then I'll have a black blade on. If it's clear where I can see down two feet or more and it's kind of green, I'll have gold. Also on the trailers, if I'm fishing really super shallow, so if I know these fish are in like one to two feet of water, I'll use a, a Big Bite, that new trailer that they came out with, and a bright orange. And then if they're a little bit deeper, anywhere from like two to four feet, then I use a Yamamoto Zako. And you're gonna be looking at my lures, and you're gonna say, hey, I looked at every color chart at that Zako, and I can't see where they make a red one. It's called dip and dive. Dip and dye your own colors and you'll see what happens. Try to match that color where, you know, those fish, when they see it buzzing by them, that it's the same basic, same shade as a crawdad and you'll catch fish after fish. So I hope you enjoy this tip and uh, let me know how you do. So a lot of the fishing around in our area is just good. You could go about do anything right now. So I hope you enjoyed the report. All right. 
If you want to leave a comment, hit that comment box on the bottom. And what I'll do is I'll answer you back usually within two or three days. So appreciate you listening and help for all this, help me for all the support you guys are doing for me. And I'll see you next week. Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're going to show you how to catch some fish today.